Hello children! Once again, welcome to our online learning journey in Mathematics 5. In this video children, we will be talking about rounding decimal numbers to the nearest tenths, hundreds, and thousands. Are you ready to start? Let's proceed! Let's have first a review on the place value of decimals. The given decimal number is 1,234 and 5,678 This time, let us identify the place value of each digit from the given number. Let's start from the digit 1. 1 is in the thousands place, 2 is in the hundreds place, 3 is in the tens place, 4 is in the ones place, the digit 5 is in the tenths place, 6 is in the hundreds place, 7 is in the thousands place, 8 is in the ten thousands place. The digits 1, 2, 3, 4 represents the whole numbers. It is separated by the decimal point, and the digits 5, 6, 7, 8 represents the decimal part. Let us familiarize ourselves with the different steps in rounding decimal numbers. Step 1. Identify the place value of the digit to be rounded off. Step 2. Look at the digit to the right of the rounding place. Under this, there will be two conditions. The first condition, if the digit to the right of the rounding place is equal to or greater than 5, we are going to round up. What does it mean? To round up means to add 1 to the digit to be rounded off and drop or remove all the digits to the right of the rounding place. The second condition is if the digit to the right of the rounding place is less than 5, we are going to round down. What does it mean? To round down means keep the same digit to be rounded off and drop or remove all the digits to the right of the rounding place. Let us put these steps into example. First, let us round off to the nearest tenths. The given decimal number is 2 and 835 thousandths. The digit in the rounding place is the digit 8, and the digit to its right is the digit 3. Since 3 is less than 5, we are going to round down. What does it mean? We're going to retain 8 and drop or delete the digits 3 and 5. The remaining digits are 2 and 8. Therefore, the rounded number or the final answer is 2 and 8 tenths. Let us have another example in rounding off to the nearest tenths. Let us have the decimal number of 0 and 493 thousandths. The digit in the rounding place is the digit 4 and the digit to its right is the digit 9. If you will notice children, the digit 9 is more than 5. Therefore, we are going to round up. What does it mean? We are going to add 1 to the digit 4 and 4 will become 5 and we will remove or delete the digits 9 and 3 and the remaining digits will be 0 and 5. Therefore, the rounded number or the final answer is 5 tenths. This time, let us have an example of decimal rounded off to the nearest hundreds. The given decimal number is 0 and 932 thousandths. The digit in the rounding place is the digit 3, and the digit to its right is the digit 2. 
If you will notice, the digit 2 is less than 5. We are going to round down. What does it mean? We are going to retain the digit 3 and remove or delete the digit 2. And the remaining digits are 0, 9, and 3. Therefore, the final answer or the rounded number is 93 hundredths. Let us have another example of decimal rounded off to the nearest hundredths. Let's take this decimal number. 3 and 56 thousandths. The digit in the rounding place is the digit 5, and the digit to its right is the digit 6. If you will notice, 6 is more than 5. We're going to round up. What does it mean? We are going to add 1 to the digit 5 and remove the digit 6, and the remaining digits are 3, 0, and 6. Therefore, the final answer or the rounded number is 3 and 6 hundredths. This time around, let us have an example of decimal rounded off to the nearest thousands. Let's take this decimal number. 1 and 5,021 ten thousands. The digit in the rounding place is the digit 2. And the digit to the, its right is the digit 1. 1 is less than 5. Therefore, we are going to round down. What does it mean? We're going to retain the digit 2 and remove or delete the digit 1. And the remaining digits are 1, 5, 0, 2. Therefore, the final answer or the rounded number is 1 and 500, 2 thousands. Let us have another example in rounding off to the nearest thousands. Let's take this decimal number, 3 in 1,037, 10 thousands. The digit in the rounding place is the digit 3. And the digit to its right is the digit 7. 7 is more than 5. Therefore, we're going to round up. What does it mean? We're going to add 1 to the digit 3. And 3 will become 4. And what will happen to the digit 7? We're going to delete or remove it. So the remaining digits are 3, 1, 0, 4. Therefore, the final answer or the rounded number is 3 and 104 thousands. Children, let us put into practice what you have learned earlier by answering this practice exercise. Direction. Round the following to the indicated place value by completing the table. You are given 30 seconds to answer each number. Are you ready now? Let's start. The first number is 2 and 2,546 ten thousands. Round this off to the nearest tens, hundreds, and thousands. Ready? Go! Alright, so the answer for the nearest tenths is 2 and 3 tenths. Nearest hundreds, that would be 2 and 25 hundreds. Nearest thousands, that would be 2 and 255 thousands. Second given number, 0 and 8,523 ten thousands. Ready? Go!
Let's answer nearest tenths, that would be 0 and 9 tenths. Nearest hundreds, that would be 0 and 85 hundreds. Nearest thousands, that would be 0 and 852 thousands. The last number is 5 and 6,155 ten thousands. Go! Alright, the correct answers are nearest tenths, that would be 5 and 6 tenths, nearest hundreds, that would be 5 and 62 hundreds, nearest thousands, that would be 5 and 616 thousands. Remember this, children. Steps in rounding decimal numbers Step 1. Identify the place value of the digit to be rounded off. Step 2. Look at the digit to the right of the rounding place. If the digit is equal to or greater than 5, round up. To round up means to add 1 to the digit to be rounded off and drop or remove all the digits to the right of the rounding place. If the digit is less than 5, round down. To round down means keep the same digit to be rounded off and drop or remove all the digits to the right of the rounding place. That's all for now, children. See you soon in our next online learning journey. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.